let d equal some long equation and evaluate surface integrals and find the total charge enclosed in the rectangle um, parallel pipe void whatever the hell you want to call it so this is the shape here um, and there's really no simple way to do this problem you have to just do every single plane so let's get started um, so evaluate at each plane Some reason it's not there. okay. So we'll start at x equals zero. I'm do green for the first one. So the x equals zero plane is this plane in the back side right here, right? And the first thing to notice is that when we're looking at flux entering this plane we realize the only thing we're concerned with is the x direction of um, the flux so the only part you're worried about is this x vector right here right so d sub x equals 4 x y AX. Well, this works out simply because we already know x equals 0, so we plug in our x, dx equals 0. Boom. First plane done. Okay? See, some of these are coming out, are going to come out simply. Now, we're going to jump around a bit and do the z equals 0 plane. Okay, similarly, z equals zero plane is right here. And we're only worried about what? We're only worried about the z component of the flux of the electric field lines, whatever you want to call them. Um, so we're worried about this upward component, this upward direction. Okay, so that would be this right here. equals to um, what, would it, what did I call it? Was it 4z? Um, 4yz, yeah. Again, z equals 0. Equals 0 dz is equal to zero. So that's two planes done. They're both equal to zero. They contribute nothing. Okay. What's next? Let's do the y planes. Now this one you gotta be a little clever, a little more clever. So we see that dy is equal to x squared plus z squared. Oh, with a 2. Multiply by 2. Sorry. <clears throat> so what's one thing we notice here? Again, let me go back up here. We're looking for the the y equals z plane. Y equals three plane is right here, and the y equals zero plane is right here. So for both of these planes, we're looking only for the y component of d, okay? Because we want to know how much is coming in and going out. And in this case, it could be in that direction, and this could be in this direction. We don't really know, right? But when we evaluate 
the equation, look, what do we notice? What do you, what can you see about this? There's no y component. And if we're moving through y and there's no y component, what does that mean? dy must be constant in y, right? Because there's no y component. So whatever is, if it's going in this direction, which it's a positive number, so it's going to go in this direction, right? Because it's they're they're squared. Um, the exact equivalent is coming into this plane. So if the, if this is equal to this, these two arrows are equal. Then whatever's coming in is also going out at the same at the same exact uh, amount. So the conclusion is dy or Yeah, dy at y equals 0 and y equals 3, cancel. Net flux is equal to 0. The, the net flux, um, I guess, I don't know if you put it like that, but basically the, the two together would be equal to 0 in the y direction. So now you only have two planes left. Um, that's the x equals 2 plane. And z equals uh, 5, right? z equals 5 plane. Those are the only two left on our uh, parallel pipe, pipette, whatever the hell you call it. Um, so let's evaluate x equals 2. Let's look at our plane real quick. x equals 2 plane is this plane right here. Um, we can't really do any canceling on this part. But we know it's only going to contribute in the x direction. And we do know that the... Uh, that this value is going to be 3, this value is going to be 5, and we can try and um, integrate, integrate through that and see what flux we're going to get. Okay. So remember these values right here. I'm going to draw them. <clears throat> so we're left with a square that looks something like this. 5 here, 3 here, and it's at x equals 2, and dx is equal to 4xy. Oh, shoot. There we go. 4xy. Hey. Sorry, my thing's messing up. Ax. Okay. So we can make a equation that looks like this. We integrate through z, integrate through y, and we apply this function here. Um, okay. So now we can plug in our x value. And this is now you have a simple integral. The integral results in 180 coulombs. Okay, that's at phi is x equal to 2. Okay, one more left. Z equals 
equals 5 to n. So let's look at our plane. Z equals 5. That's this up here. And we see that it's got a length of 2 here and a width of 3. Okay. And let's not forget this equation here. Because remember, we're only looking for the Z part, right? So we can just compartmentalize. So we'll go all the way down here. DZ, what's the function? Um, 4YZ. We draw our square. It was, if this is the y direction, this is the x direction, or z direction. No, x direction, excuse me. Um, not that it really matters, but this is a z direction. Okay. And then we do phi z equals 5 is equal to the integral 0 to 2, 0 to 3. Or we'll do 0 to 3, 0 to 2. Just make it a little nicer looking. 4yz dy dx. So we know that z is equal to 5. So we plug in our 5 for z. And then we have a simple integral. Okay? All you're doing is solving this integral, and you will get one hundred eighty coulomb. Okay? So now final part, we add this, we add this, phi x equal to 2 plus phi z equal to 5, phi total is equal to 360 coulombs. There you go. Um, hope that helps. Goodbye.